This video will show you how to perform an ANOVA test on a Casio graphical calculator. If you want to use two-way tables, there's a second video in this mini-series that will show you how to do that. This video is on one-way tables. The main difficulty in getting it to do an ANOVA test is in showing the calculator exactly where the data is that you want. So here we've got three different groups and of course all of the data that we're associating with it. We need to be very careful when we enter this so the calculator knows exactly which group the information is coming from. So go into your stats mode as per usual and we use the first column to represent the positions of our data. So our first group, which group A, has got three pieces of data in. What we're going to do is we're going to use the first column to show which group we're in and the second column to show what the data is. So we've got three pieces of data for group A. So I'm going to put one, we're going to use numbers rather than letters, and then these are the three pieces of data for group A. So 643, 655, 702. We then go for our three pieces of data for, for the second group, which we'll call group 2, and I'll put those in 469, 427, 525, and then we've got our three for, for our third group, and they are 484. 456402. Now, of course, you can enter all of these things in the first column in one go 1112223333, but I prefer to do them one group at a time. So the calculator is going to understand that each of these first three pieces of data are coming from our first group, the next ones are coming from our second group, and the next ones from our third group. Then making sure that the bottom of the screen says uh, graph, calculator, test, and so on. We want to do a, a specific form of statistical test, so we're going to press the button under here, and it's an ANOVA test, of course. We need to make sure it knows what it's doing. How many refers to whether it's a one-way or a two-way table. Uh, we are specifying which factor we are looking at, so which group we're looking at. That data is coming from list one. Dependent, this is the actual data that you've got. Um, save result, well, you can specify that it saves results in various places, but really you want to come down and, and make it execute. So we'll make it do that. And there it's got all of the information that we need. Um, so we've got our degrees of freedom, we've got our treatment sum of squares and the error sum of squares, we've got the mean square treatment, mean square error and so on, our F test statistic is there, and the p-value is calculated for us too. Of course, making sure that you're looking out for times 10 to the minus 3 there. For the ANOVA test, quite simple, as long as you make sure that the calculator understands exactly where you're putting your data.